So the FTX situation, it's not over just yet. Now we finally got some good FTX news. This coin went from 26 down to a dollar. On top of that, billions of dollars of retail money were completely wiped out. A lot of very sus things, but we're not gonna really get into the F SBF or FTX situation. But instead, let's talk about how can you get your money back? Because right now, FTX Japan has unfrozen funds and customers are now regaining access to their money. So it collapsed back in November of 2022. About three months later, customers in Japan have finally gotten access to get their money back. This is incredible news, guys. And a lot of Japanese investors in crypto who have their money in FTX are expressing a lot of gratitude for this. They just want their money out and they're probably gonna be putting it in another exchange like Coinbase or Binance. And just a quick tip for you guys, if you want to put your money in like an exchange, make sure that exchange is like somewhat publicly traded. I highly recommend Coinbase because they have to do that quarterly filing. You know, the SEC's on them all the time. And unlike private companies, which you don't have to, you know, show off any reports or financials, publicly traded exchanges like Coinbase, they have to. So this is good news. Now, will this spill over to North America? Probably not. Apparently what I've seen so far is when Japan's FTX was frozen, a lot of the customer's funds were just still there. Like it wasn't lost. But if you look at North America and some of the European FTX exchanges, a lot of that money was lost, especially that infamous $600 million to $700 million hack that happened right after the collapse took a lot of money from the North American customers. Now the Japanese customers, not so much. It's very quiet, nothing's really happening over there. So, hey, it's great news for over there to the guys in Japan who have their money in FTX. They pretty much got out of that unscathed right now. But what about here in the States? Not so much. A lot of people still have a lot of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and several coins all frozen in FTX, and they can't get it out. Now, there's also other good news, like if you have money in Voyager, Binance essentially bailed out Voyager, and they have also slowly started unfreezing customer funds. But for here in the States, not so much. But let's see what happens. Hopefully, the people who have the money in FTX get their cash out, or at least part of it.